Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale working overtime, Brian, for all the storms that we've had over the last 72 hours, but now yes. decline. I, I, we're going to have to turn the word hail into some sort of game. <laughs> because no, no, we're not. <laughs> I tell you what, we've said the word hail more in the last three days, mm -hmm. whether it's H-A-L-E or H-A-I-L. Well, we want our viewers to be alert. That's or, right. I don't know what type of game, but if it was the game I was thinking, <laughs> yeah, we'd probably we'd is, not probably make is. it to the end of the show. <laughs> Let's take a look and see what we've got going here. Radar, okay. Looks like everything's died down for now. You know, we've had the upper level support. We've had the, the surface heating. We've had the sea breeze. We've had all these ingredients come together in a confluence, uh, a conspiracy against the valley for the last three days. I mean, yesterday we had fist-sized hail near San Benito and ping-pong ball-sized hail and, and all kinds of hail reported out today. But all that has since died away. And both yesterday and today, it started in Kennedy near uh, Willacy and then pushed on down. And then the backside of it just boom, right on into Hidalgo. And it did that again today. But everything has died away. Look at future radar. It shows, yep, everything's done and done. We can breathe a sigh of relief for now. 70 degrees overnight tonight, mostly clear. Southeast wind, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tomorrow, we're looking at starting the day great, just like today. We had a great start to the day. 70 degrees at 7 a.m., 73 by 8 a.m. But then as the day wears on, uh, we're not going to see as robust of activities we saw today, or, and certainly not like yesterday. But 86 to 90 from noon to 3 o'clock, and that upper level support and the sea breeze and everything coming together will help to fire off some showers and thunderstorms across the valley. Here's a look at Futurecast showing the sea breeze blows on in. You see, watch the arrows turn almost due east, and then that, uh, that's that cool curtain of air firing off some showers and thunderstorms. But again, when you've got added support, you've heard me say on more than one occasion, why the sea breeze can blow in and do absolutely nothing. It needs support. <laughs> And it's got it now, and that's why the sea breeze is being so effective in generating showers and thunderstorms the last few days. Uh, all right, let's take a look at that mechanism. Yeah, the, the sun heats the ground and warms up the valley, and then that air rises. So then the cool air comes in off the gulf to fill the void, and that forms a boundary, and that boundary just plows right on through and along the valley, and normally it, it kicks up some clouds or maybe a couple of showers, but when you've got upper-level support like we do, lift and energy, Oof, that's when it all mixes together and makes for the concoction that delivers thunderstorms and the potential for severe weather. Oh, I forgot to fix that. Um, we're talking general thunderstorm category for tomorrow, not the severe weather category, but who's counting? I mean, when you have something as, as uh, uh, kind of loose as all these ingredients just sitting over the valley, uh, it could. We could end up with a few severe thunderstorms again tomorrow. So maybe I should have left that on there. All right, now we're talking about 2 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. The opportunity for some showers and thunderstorms. And then 6 o'clock, it kind of wraps up. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? But it's not expected to be as powerful as today or yesterday. High pressure is moving in. Folks, I've got good news. High pressure is going to put an end to all this nonsense. And we're going to get back to mostly clear skies and beautiful conditions rolling on in through the end of the week. Check it out. You've got your yourself many many days of mostly clear skies and temperatures in the 90s i like to see that what i also like to see is folks winning storm buckets you betcha valleycentral.com is where you go to register to win these puppies and they are chock full of goodness tarps and flashlights and kits of all kinds ponchos you name it ready to go for hurricane season we're going to be drawing names out of the hat starting tonight at 10 o'clock. We'll pull a couple of names, and then we do it also in the morning with Jim Danner. So get ready, folks. We're going to be giving out some buckets.